Hello YouTube, so um, what's happened today, I woke up at about half four this morning, checked the first CCTV cameras uh, to look on the sheep and we had our first triplet, in fact well it won't, weren't quite as simple as that, we had uh, three lambs running around and we had two sheep which were interested in them. That can mean two things, um, you have, when sheep lamb can be a confusing experience for you, also the maternal instinct in, in some sheep stronger than others and even sheep which aren't, aren't due to lamb will have a strong mothering instinct and they will pinch lambs which are running around in the pen um, which they have access to um, so when I opened the camera and saw two sheep interested in three lambs I thought we might have that situation the other side of the, the other situation was it was just simply a triplet which had had three lambs and the other sheep, which hadn't lambed, uh, is just interested in them. Fortunately, it was the second uh, set of circumstances which had happened. Uh, we just had we'd had a triplet lamb, and we had a very motherly sheep who's in the background there, just very interested in the lambs and wanted to steal them. Um, which is good because there's nothing worse than when you have a lot of lambs, you come into the lambing shed, you have loads of lambs everywhere, they're all mixed up, you try to pair them up with the mothers the best they can, uh, only to find later on that you've paired the wrong lambs up with the wrong sheep. That does happen, it's rare but it does, um, that can present a really bad problem because sometimes once you, you might figure out which lamb should have been should have originally belonged with, with uh, a mother and so you might place it back and Sometimes that sheep might not take it, it might not. It'll grow used to the lambs you've given it and it won't want anything else, even though biologically it will be its own lamb. But that's all the fun and games which comes with lambing sheep uh, and dealing with biology. It throws all manner of strange uh, problems at you. Anyway, so we had our first triplet. When you get three lambs coming out of a sheep, you never, they're never massive. They, if you compare it with this single lamb, you know, your singles or your twins are always going to be much bigger and better. But the thing is about triplets as well, they present a problem. They, and that's, the problem is it's down to basic biology. A sheep only has two teats, yet it has three lambs wanting to feed. So usually what happens is, given enough time and as the lambs start to grow, the two biggest kind of dominate the feeding and they'll push the smaller lamb out. Given enough time, they'll starve, unless you start supplementing them with extra milk, uh, which we usually do. But the thing is, with supplementing them with extra milk, like feeding them via a milk bottle or something, it can be time consuming. When you've only got one sheep like this, it's easy enough to deal with. But when you've got 20 or 30, or even 40, like what we have, we have 40 sets of triplets to, to lamb, uh, especially when you're in the thicker lambing, um, it's just too time consuming to be dealing with them all and supplementally feeding the rest of them. So what we do is we will take the smallest lambs off here and we will put them on a milking machine. We won't do that until we have another triplet though because we won't put a lamb in a pen on its own. It'll always be with a friend or a, or, or a group. Um, and But the milking machine means they get ad lib milk, which means they get milk 24-7. So they do really well. Uh, and then we usually sell them privately to, to other farms um, and provide them for people who, who need a spare lamb. Say they've had a, couple, a set of lambs died and they, they, they wanted a spare lamb to put on a sheet or some, onto another sheet. Or what if the best case scenario with, with triplets is, is if you have a single lamb like this, lamb, at a similar time, at a similar time to a triplet, you can sometimes mother the lamb on, you smear it in its afterbirth and it's in its uh and all the fluids, you're basically you're trying to embed the scent on uh, the, the mother's scent onto the lamb. And sometimes it takes it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that's the best situation, but you can always guarantee probably 95% of the time you never get a single lamb lambing in a close time frame to to a triplet. It, it happens but it's very rare. The odds are usually against you. So we found that put it placing them on a milking machine is probably the best. This one will be alright for the time being, but hopefully if, if we have another triplet lamb in the next few days, we'll uh, we'll take one of the her lambs off her, leave her with two, and put that lamb on the milking machine. But and what we'll find is then all three lambs do far better. You get all three lambs will look far stronger, all three lambs will be far healthier. 
it costs more because you have to put additional milk, which, milk powder and milk what we have to buy in, down the lamb's neck. But you end up with a health, health, far healthier lambs uh, all around. You don't end up with two lambs getting big at the expense of another. Because the thing is as well, you can't just take a lamb off a sheep in a few weeks time because they learn to suck on either a natural tea or a, an artificial tea like what you get with a milk machine. And if you try to take a lamb which is a few weeks old and try to put it out, feed it via a bottle or a milk machine, they just won't have it. They prefer to starve to death rather than, uh, rather than being fed artificially. Even if they're hungry, it's really, really hard to teach them how to use an artificial tea the older they get. When they're young, it's so much easier. Um, you can have them suck it, sucking on a bottle or an artificial tea within 24 hours. Um, even, even faster sometimes uh, if you have a group of lambs all, all feeding on the milking machine because they kind of teach the cells between how, how to use it. That's why triplets are problematic and, and that's a few of the ways we um, deal with the problem of triplets. The other thing is when you have a sheep with two lambs it can be moved on and so it can be moved on to the other stages, stages of our lambing operation. Um, you know, it can, that sheep, once it has two lambs and they the viable and the strong, fit and healthy, they can then be moved into the nursery pens. Whereas if you have a sheep with three weak lambs, it might just, they might be there just taking up a pen for the duration of lambing. And then when you have 10, 15 pens like that, it's time consuming and it's a lot of space which has been taken up and we don't have an infinite amount of space. And the space can be a very valuable commodity when the weather's uh, bad and you can't turn any big lambs outside. That's where it can get really difficult and can be very touch and go. And that's when the job can get really stressful. Like you say, with sheep and lambing, you're very controlled by the weather. If the weather's good this year and we can turn out straight away, it's a far easier job than when you get hit by persistent wet, wet weather and you can't turn anything out because that brings its own set of problems when you're turning sheep and lambs out. They get ill. Uh, they chew on the sheep's bag, you know, because when, when, they're cold and hungry. Uh, and then the sheep's bag can go bad and hard and then start to get things like mastitis and then you have an, end up having starving lambs. So as you can see, it can be a tricky job at times. Uh, very weather dependent is this job, very weather dependent. And that's, how, that's our solutions for dealing with uh, triplets when it comes to lambing sheep. So I hope you find this useful and, in, uh, and informative. Uh, remember to like and subscribe this video. And if you know anyone who likes these videos, just tell them about this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks a lot. See you later.